let me show the people. It felt like a movie, and it still feels like a movie. Just another episode. Since the invasion in Ukraine, Andrei Vaslenko turned from being a musician to reporting on the war. You see, we have to... Here he walks through a bomb shelter for the city of Lviv in western Ukraine. It was the first air raid alert at night. They cannot sleep. Not long ago, his wife and two children were evacuated to Germany via Krakow in Poland. We did not know when to go, but we saw a bus, a white bus on the station. We approached, asked where it goes. It says to, they said to Krakow, Poland. And they say they only women and children, only women and children. And uh, so men from 18 to 65 are, have to stay in Ukraine to back up, if anything. I remember how they cried. They didn't, it was, they were in denial. I could not come with them. Uh, but I saw the tears in the bus while I was outside. Uh, and we could not do anything. Not knowing where to stay in Lviv, he reached out to people who followed him for his music. He got a response straight away. He now has a small corner where he broadcasts an unofficial source for how people in Ukraine are feeling and coping. He says his phone and laptop are his weapons. It's our, uh, basically, I don't know how to call it, office. I can, I can show you the kitty. The plants, <laughs> our weapons, uh, the laptops. And so, yeah. Uh, oh, Danish flag. <laughs> I learned English myself just to speak to my friends about music. Now I'm speaking English, reporting about Ukraine. That's basically what it came down to. Maybe it's the, it's the destiny that all I learned now turns to help Ukraine on the informational front. He says he's spoken to Russians who understand what's happening, but he told me his uncle, who only watches Russian state television in Germany, lives in a bubble and has believed the Russian propaganda. He says he wants to record what's happening on the ground in Ukraine, both for the future and for the present. Jane Worrell, NTD News.